H2X now has cooling load calculations. In this video, we'll take you through the simple steps that you need to follow to get to your results. First, let's take a look at the settings. You can choose the external summer temperature, define the number of air changes per hour, and when it comes to materials, you can create your own, or you can choose from the list that we provide. Other than that, you can choose defaults for colors of components and also their dimensions. We have a range of rooms that follow the SIBSI defaults for air changes and temperatures, but you can create your own by entering a name and then choosing those temperatures and air changes. For internal heat sources, again, we have a range and you can add your own. And when it comes to the solar gain, you can add your own coefficient and enter in the watts per meter squared based on the building orientation. When it comes to drawing rooms, you can do this on a blank canvas with the help of the dimension tool, or like in this case, you can upload a PDF and trace over the rooms. Simply click every time you want to put a corner into a room and double click when you want to complete drawing. Using the properties of what has been drawn, it is already starting to calculate the kilowatt load, which you can see central to the room. And as we go around and simply add windows and drop on doors, you'll notice that that heat gain number is increasing. If you ever want to override the defaults of a room, you can click on it and change things like the name, the temperatures, the number of air changes, the materials that are being used. And you can also add internal heat sources. So here where we had 1.34 kilowatts of heat gain, if we choose to add five occupants at 100 watts each, that goes up to 1.84 kilowatts. Then if you've got levels above, you can follow the same process of adding rooms, but in this case, we want to add the roof. So it is important to add this because it will add extra area and volume onto your calculations. We do have a range of default roofs that you can use to make this process easy. But we had 1.84 kilowatts before, and just by adding that sloped roof, it's gone up to 2.04. We can use these results to inform our system sizing. So you can add a range of equipment like chillers, where you can change technical properties like the flow and the return temperatures. Then you can use a range of our smart tools, such as multi-pipes, to really easily draw the pipe layout. You can create your own list of fan call units or choose from our default ones. So here we choose one with 1.5 kilowatts, which will provide enough energy to the room and we can connect that up. Then in a matter of seconds, you can view your results, which combines your layout and all the technical properties and parameters you have. And it provides a range of information like your total system volume, the total kilowatt load, the index circuit length, and every pipe is sized with the flow rates, velocities, and pressure drops per meter provided. And then you've got a range of exports from PDFs, reports for the calculations, bill of materials, and it will integrate with Revit too. So head over to h2xengineering.com if you'd like to try this out for yourself on our 14-day free trial.